Here are some before and after photographs of the air brake rebuild. You can see the before photographs, the items were covered with many, many layers of paint. As we cleaned the components up, we disassembled them to the smallest component. Once the components were clean, we carefully painted the internal air passages with a special enamel. On our inspection table, we have what's known as a sloping type of air brake pedestal, which serves as a pipe bracket to attach all of the features of the air brake system together and a nice convenient location designed to be bolted to the locomotive cab floor. We have the automatic portion, which is the automatic brake valve, with a relay valve that works correspondingly with various port positions to control all the various air brake functions of the system. In addition to an independent brake valve, which as the name applies, allows you to work the independent brake in the locomotive intender independent of the automatic brake application. An M3 feed valve, which is a pressure regulating valve, that regulates main reservoir pressure down to brake pipe pressure. An emergency relay vent valve, which initiates an emergency rate of air reduction in the brake pipe, causing an emergency application of the brakes. F6 reducing valve, which provides another regulated air source for the driver brake cylinders. We have a distributing valve that allows the use of the automatic and the independent brakes to work together in unison and separate from each other, along with a relay valve, which using a control air source from the distributing valve, provides main reservoir air pressure in a very large volume to the large volume driver brake cylinders on the modern steam locomotive. As we've been rebuilding all of these various features and components, we're also rebuilding these for the UP4014. We have the centrifugal dirt collectors, relay valves, another emergency valve which is located on the cab wall, sander valves in the cab, and even the bell ringer has been completely rebuilt. This rebuild process on the air brake work scope is a very important milestone, and it marks a very critical phase in the rebuilding of the UP844. The next process begins the reassembly process for the locomotive. We have nearly all subsystems of the locomotive already rebuilt and standing by, ready to go back on the locomotive as we begin the reassembly phase. Thank you very much for watching.